reproduction in plants the living things cannot survive without food human beings and animals depend on plants for their food plants are a very important part of our environment plants are useful to us in many ways plants are the source of various food items like cereals pulses vegetables fruits etc fibers like cotton and jute for our clothes wood like teak sal and cedar for furniture things like rubber gum tea and coffee are also obtained from plants plants release oxygen which is essential to breathe for humans and animals plants are also a source of various medicines plants make our surroundings green and add beauty to it with their colorful foliage and flowers reproduction in plants just like animals and human beings plants also reproduce new plants they reproduce in many ways most of the plants grow from their seeds while some plants reproduce from different parts such as its roots stems or leaves these plants are able to grow without seeds the process by which the different parts of a plant reproduce new plant is called vegetative reproduction reproduction from stems plants like potato ginger etc grow from stem potato and ginger are underground stem that store food themselves potato has buds in it known as eyes from where new plants grow some new plants also grow from part of the stem because they have buds on them these pieces of stem are called stem cuttings many plants like sugarcane rose hibiscus etc grow from stem cuttings reproduction from leaves some plants like bryophyllum begonia etc have fleshy and thick leaves bearing buds on its edges these buds reproduce new plants through it when these leaves are planted in moist soil new plants grow from them reproduction from roots roots of some plants like sweet potato arrow root dahlia etc grow new plants from them reproduction from seeds most of the plants grow from seeds these seeds are sown in soil and supplied sufficient amount of water fertilizers air and sunlight to produce new plants example of seed plants are oranges mango plum tomato etc most plants produce flowers that turn into fruits they mainly include fruits and vegetables structure of a seed a seed has three main parts a thick outer covering called seed coat protects the seed from any damage and drying out seed coats of some seeds are thin and soft or thick and hard it has a scar plants grow from this part of the seeds the scar has a tiny hole in it which allows water to enter the seed inside the seed coat it has seed leaves known as cotyledons these leaves cover the baby plant between them the baby plant inside the cotyledons is known as embryo the leaves of the seed store food in them and the baby plant uses this food to grow till it produces leaves and makes its own food some seeds like rice wheat maize that belong to the grass family have only one seed leaf whereas seeds like peas beans grams have two seed leaves the baby plant remains inside the seed till it gets favorable conditions to grow germination of a seed a seed needs soil air water and sunlight to grow into a new plant non availability of one of them restricts the seed to grow when a seed is sown in the soil it takes water and air through seed coat the embryo cell grow and break the seed coat a root emerges first followed by a shoot that contains leaves and stem this process of growth of a baby plant from a seed into a young plant known as seedling is termed as germination dispersal of seeds plants need adequate space to grow properly if they do not get enough space enough water minerals and sunlight 
they will not be able to grow properly and die after some time so seeds of the plants need to be scattered away from the parent plants this process of scattering or spreading of seeds away from the parent plant is known as dispersal of seeds seed dispersal can happen through mainly four ways through water wind animals and explosion of the fruit these are known as agents of dispersal dispersal by wind some seeds hold hair like sepals called pappus seeds of maple dandelion drumstick madar and hiptage have wings like projections these pappus or wings help the seeds to float in the wind dispersal by water some plants like lotus and coconut grow in or near water the fruits and seeds of these plants are easily dispersed by flowing water the coconut has a hard outer cover of fiber and the lotus plant has a spongy part that help them to float in water thus they scatter far away from their parent plants dispersal by human beings and animals humans and animals eat fruits we throw away the seed after eating fruits like mangoes oranges apples cherries and plums the small hard seeds of guava etc are thrown out of our body with the waste all such seeds are scattered far away from the parent plants seeds of many plants have stiff hair hooks or spines these seeds stick to our clothes or the fur or skin of animals and are carried away far by these animals dispersal by explosion of fruit some fruits like pea balsam geranium and touch me not plants explode on drying and their seeds are scattered away from the parent plants crops plants produce food fiber juice etc and serve us in many ways we grow plant in a large scale to get more food or grains the process of producing food fiber and many other products by growing certain plants on large scale is called agriculture we often see the same kind of plants grown in a large volume in one field such as wheat plant rice plant etc these plants are known as crops the large area in which a crop is grown is called a farm a farmer works on the farm to cultivate the crop different crops grow in different seasons such as crops like gram wheat etc grow in winter and are called rabi crops some vegetables like carrot radish turnip beans peas etc and fruits like apple banana berry etc grow in winter some crops like rice jowar bajra maize etc grow in summer these are called kharif crops some fruits like peach mango plum lychee melon etc and vegetables like brinjal onion tomato pumpkin etc grow in summer crops like rice and jute grow in clay soil that holds a lot of water these crops abundantly grow in the fields of west bengal wheat grows in the sandy and well irrigated soil in the plains of uttar pradesh and punjab cotton grows in black soil that is found in madhya pradesh jowar and bajra grow in the sandy soil of rajasthan crops such as tea and coffee grow in slopy fields where water does not hold these crops grow in the hilly slopes of assam nilgiri darjeeling etc protection of crops if farmers want to grow healthy crops they should keep the few things in mind only healthy and ripe seeds should be used for sowing the soil should be prepared properly by turning it over to loosen it rich manures and fertilizers must be added to the soil the soil must be irrigated sufficiently at the right time crops should be protected from grazing animals like cows goats and buffaloes 
by fencing off the fields. Pests and insects like locusts, grasshoppers, plant lice and caterpillars harm the crops. So, crops should be protected from them by spraying pesticides. Crops should be protected from plant diseases by spraying suitable chemicals. Seeds must be protected from moisture. They should be stored in airtight and sealed containers. Rats, moles, birds, squirrels, etc. eat and damage the seeds. So, seeds must be kept safe from them. Remember, plants need our care, love and protection. We can grow rich crops under favourable conditions. The crops also contribute in the wealth of our country.